Fallout 1 is getting a remake. The ambitious mod project is known as Fallout Vault 13. And of course, one of the very ambitious parts about this is you have to take a 2D world and make it a fully fledged 3D world with new and unique interactions. They recently shared some major updates as well as a full scale gameplay showcase on what they've implemented thus far. And this is one of those things that gets me very excited because it looks really, really good. And they actually have a lot to show off already. And though the main focus of this video is the Fallout 1 remake, I also want to highlight the top-down view of all of the Fallout mod remake projects, because we now have basically every major Fallout game being recreated. Looking at the Fallout 1 remake, we just recently got a very lengthy and very detailed new gameplay video. And even just right off the bat, this initial departure from Vault 13, where you start in Fallout 1, is pretty notable. It may look simple or forgettable, I mean you are just walking out of a vault, but you can actually do this in Fallout 1, it was all a cutscene, and comparing that cutscene scene to how it just looks playing it in Fallout 4's engine is a huge difference. The team here describes how they made some changes to some of the locations from Fallout 1, and specifically the layout of those locations, with this being a natural byproduct of the process of taking that 2D top down to the fully interactive 3D world we are getting now. But even as just a simple example, this initial cave sequence does a pretty good job to encapsulate that original atmosphere from Fallout 1, and they're bringing upgrades even apart from the visual, as they describe how not only are all the original Fallout 1 interactions going to be implemented, but also some new ones. Take this gate for example, you go the typical lockpicking route, or alternatively you could pass a perception check, or even just find the key somewhere around, giving you that more modern approach that many of the newer Fallout games have added in. Although the main part of their showcase, and easily one of the best looking parts, is around Shady Sands, one of the first places you'll discover in Fallout 1. You can see this area full fully recreated, NPCs and all, and I have a feeling this will be one of the big moments this mod creates for players, getting to experience this familiar place completely reimagined in a 3D world. And in the showcase, we get to hear the voiced NPCs also, and these sound amazing. Good day. I'm called Seth. How can I help you? Information? What do you want to know about? Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation systems. And even get some of that ambiance returning with the background music. And the voice work here definitely has to be commended, because if you compare this voice acting compared to the original in Fallout 1. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... It is my town, Wanderer. You must answer my questions or leave. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... It is my town, Wanderer. You must answer my questions or leave. This is not a matter of choice. Yes, hmm, yes, yes, yes. I shall believe you. The first time I listened to that, I had to do a double take that they weren't just reusing the voice lines. No, that is a new voice actor, and it is incredibly faithful to the original work there. They further go on to describe how low intelligence dialogue will return with this mod, and they are actually using the extended dialogue framework. It also does feel very special to see these interactions fully re-implemented at this point. They are also re-implementing the skill system from Fallout 1, and they describe a design change of some of these skills being condensed into smaller groups, but how they still want all these to remain impactful and feel unique, the open world they've created here looks incredible, and obviously it's a massive upgrade over how it worked in Fallout 1 with this map that you explored. The open world here is designed around being five distinct playable areas, with a combined total area of about the same size as the commonwealth in Fallout 4, so definitely something pretty familiar, but the reason they're breaking it up into these five distinct playable areas is so they could bring the true scale of this massive world space to life, and have some of the larger cities actually be as large as they're meant to be, as large as they were in Fallout 1. And now, since you are going to be walking around in a more interactive world compared to how it worked originally, they're adding in things like random encounters and other miscellaneous things to stumble upon. And it's not just the exterior world space that looks great here. They also show themselves off doing this rat scorpion quest and they go into this cave, and this cave design is literally probably better than any cave I've seen in Fallout 4. This looks really good, and it's just one cave, so we have to see how things expand across the entire project, but what they're showing off thus 
thus far with this transition from top-down 2D to full 3D is really, really impressive to me and just looks really good. And they even have the dynamite interaction that you typically have here from Fallout 1, where you can place dynamite to take care of the rad scorpions, which is a really nice touch. Overall, this mod has been making incredible progress as of late, and I'm not even showing you everything detailed in this video and not even some of the stuff they've shown off on their Discord. Fallout 1 is a game that sadly many Fallout fans have never truly experienced, and this could be a lot of people's first introduction to that, their first experience with Fallout 1. And thus far, the progress they're making looks absolutely amazing, it gets me even more excited for what else they're going to add in the future, and we are clearly seeing a high level of quality here. And if you want more updates, I'll have their Discord and this video linked down below. But of course, this now means as it exists, we have a remake for basically all of the major Fallout games outside of Fallout 4, as all of these are being remade for Fallout 4. We have Fallout 4 Project Arroyo, which is the Fallout 2 remake mod. This is also being very ambitious because it has those same challenges as Fallout Vault 13 in that you have to take a 2D world to a 3D world. Work in the project is progressing steadily and they've shared quite a bit when it comes to the world space work done, with some of the most notable and distinct locations being recreated, and some ways some of the coolest locations in all of Fallout. Fallout 2 had some really, really cool lore for a lot of these places and even some of the reimagined weapons that they are recreating from Fallout 2. The Capital Wasteland project has easily been one of the most active of these mods as of late. This, of course, being the full-fledged Fallout 3 remake mod. Been posting teasers on all kinds of work-in-progress assets, as well as some of the things they are recreating as they progress, with even some of the UI elements being remade here, and you can see some of those familiar interactions, and of course, the UI they had to recreate for it. But what is definitely the most notable from this project as of late are their standalone releases. They've released a ton over the past couple of years, but even just over the past couple of months, they're deep into yet another roadmap, adding in all kinds of things like weapons or armors or even new gameplay mechanics like ghoulification in Fallout 4, so you could turn into a fully fledged ghoul and it features the Fallout 3 radiation system. But their biggest release on the horizon is Point Lookout, that of course being one of the DLCs for Fallout 3 and it has been fully recreated in Fallout 4's engine. And that is final. They actually have finished work on this project. The only thing they're waiting on now is voice acting. Outside of voice acting, the project is completely feature complete. I was fortunate enough to play an early version of this before, and the level of detail here is absolutely incredible. It is truly Point Lookout, to the point where I was using Point Lookout guides to help figure out where certain items were in the remake mod, and they worked. Fallout 4 New Vegas, with probably the most obvious name, is of course going to be a full remake of people's favorite Fallout game, Fallout New Vegas. They posted some of the best trailers out of all of the various projects, and as of late have been showing off some of the iconic weapons being recreated in Fallout 4's engine. New Vegas for me easily has some of the best weapons of any Fallout game, and they've also shared one of the weaker parts of Fallout New Vegas with some of the world space that they are remaking that also looks incredible. But that's actually not all, as we even have a somewhat remake of Fallout 76. That with Fallout Appalachia, where this very ambitious mod out there is recreating the world space of Fallout 76 in Fallout 4's engine. The author recently showcased some of the gameplay of the forest, showing off some of the very iconic locations that you early on get to interact with in Fallout 76, but also some of the miscellaneous enemy placements and how he's filling out this world a bit more. There's a boatload of content on this one. This channel has literally hours of gameplay from this mod that I will have linked down below if you're interested, including gameplay of things like vaults and even some of the other regions outside of the forest. So overall, even though it continues to seem like Bethesda is very reluctant to remake any of the older Fallout games, when a new Fallout game in general seems very far off, thankfully we have a variety now of dedicated mod teams that are working on remakes for basically every major Fallout now. And I gotta say, the latest update around this Fallout 1 remake looks absolutely incredible. The level of quality here again is just really, really high. If if you're interested in anything I talked about or showed you in this video, I will have links to all of these projects down below where you can find out more. With that said, as always again, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you all next time. Later.